Hello. The heck is that? I think my hair is trying to take flight. You know what? It's fine. It's better this way. I have what I think is going to be a very cool project. Now, if it's gonna work, that's the real question. I hope it'll work. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get there. So, in honor of it being... This is bugging me. <laughs> so, in honor of it being the holiday season, I had a holiday-themed idea that I wanted to do, but I'm getting scared because I have a week to work on it. It's gonna require three days of waiting, and I'm just now getting started. Mm -hmm. Basically, what we're making is a Christmas village. I think it'll turn out good. I I don't know. I've never done anything like this before, so we will find out. So I think this right here is gonna make up the basis of this project. We can use it for the base. Haha, <laughs> pun. There's a pun there somewhere. So I guess first things first, let me cut out my base. That tells me how big everything is, and then I know how to scale everything else. Our base is made. It's the six inches by six inches. And it seems small, but it kind of has to be because I have a plan for it later, which I'm not going to say right now. If I get too big, I will not be able to actually do what I want to do. <laughs> you know, after seeing the scale of this, I think my plans have changed. See, I was going to use this stuff, this XPS foam to do the buildings, but I'm looking at how thick this is and how tiny this base is. I think that will just be too big. I think I can just use clay. I think I'm gonna start out by making some squares and see how I feel. This is gonna be the most awkward like beginning of one of my videos because the whole thing is just like, I'm gonna do this maybe. I don't know if this is gonna work. I did some off screen testing because I was honestly not sure what the best way to go was gonna be. So let's take a look. At first, I thought it might be easiest to just make a cube and then hollow it. And yes, if I could find a good way to make an actual cube, that might be the fastest way. But then again, I never even actually tried hollowing it just because I could tell it was not working. So attempt number two, we just built a house out of little thinned out sheets and it's already hollow. Yeah, that looks way better. <laughs> so I think I have found out how I'm gonna go about doing this. Once these are baked, I can actually like sand these so that they're level and there's no like stuff poking out where it shouldn't be. But yeah, I think that's gonna be the way to do it. Oh, I'm off frame, sorry. I think that's gonna be the way to do it. One down, and about six more to go. Sorry if I'm not talking much currently, I'm just realizing how much work these are gonna be. So let's just rough out all of our buildings and then I'll come back and do more detail after they're all shaped. Cause as you can see, there's our base and there's our tiny little building. So I have like, I need to, oh wow, I just realized that. I need to make these smaller. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of space if I keep this up. I just built a bunch of houses. I haven't done any detail on them yet. I figured I'd just make them all first. The first two I made are just gonna be way too big for what I need them to be. You should look at this one, this one for example. Yeah, we made them way smaller. But I still have a purpose for this. I'm not, I'm not gonna scrap both of them. All the buildings are rough shape. I'm gonna go in and add more detail in a moment. I've been making too many buildings. I'm getting bored of it. So, we're gonna make a tree. Happy little tree. There's our happy little tree. I liked it so much that I made two more. So I'm still bored of houses, so let's make something else. Um, I'm thinking a bench. Let's make a little bench somewhere. I don't know how to do this. Probably with wire, actually. Wow, that's, yeah, let's do wire. Wow. 
Well, when I started this, I didn't expect to be soldering a park bench, but you know, eh, eh, just, just, uh, those thin little wires would not cooperate. I literally, I just wanted to wrap it in more wire, but they would not sit still. So here we are with the soldered park bench. And it may be super darkened and fire scaly, but it doesn't matter because the whole thing's getting painted anyway. Okay, so we have trees and we have buildings, but now we need to come back to all of the buildings and add more detail. I think all of our components are ready for bake anyway. So, got our houses. The park bench will be like right here. This little tree is gonna be right here. This medium tree is gonna be right by the park bench. And this big tree is gonna be right here. And I'm thinking of doing something else, but I'm not sure what yet. It feels like it's missing something in the middle. It is the next day and these are all baked and uh, solidified. We can move forward. Hmm. What order are we going to do this in? Man, I did not plan out these steps ahead of time. This is uh, a good view into my, like, good window into how my brain works. I have an idea and then I just kind of wing the rest of the process. So right now the base is too smooth and flat. So I would like to add some texture to it so that we get a more natural, like, snowy ground look. We're actually gonna take some uh, acetone and put it on a paper towel and kind of just pat around. And the that is gonna dissolve this foam and give it a cool texture, which looks really good once it's painted. Also, I made another tree. I love this tree. This looks so good. And there you go. Looks weird right now, but it will look good, I swear. So let's let this dry and come back to it. So now what we need to do before we uh, come in and start painting is something that this whole project kind of relies around. I'm gonna take some plastic, cut it into little strips, and we're gonna glue them into these houses, creating windows. I totally forgot to do something. That's better. Each one of our buildings now has a window. You probably noticed I came in with this stuff right here. This is UV resin. And basically, it's gonna act like caulk. Alrighty, well, our buildings have windows. Our base has been textured. Our trees are done, everything's baked. It is time to start painting. are painted. All that is left now is to paint the base the rest of the way. I had this dark gray layer drying while we were doing that. So I'm gonna just start dry brushing some white. It's really that easy. Actually I lied. Before we start doing our white dry brushing, I'm gonna do something. So you see how this is all low and smooth? Yes we do. So that's our pond. Hi Alexis. When did you show up? I've, I've been here man. Really? Okay there we go. Added a little bit of a light blue to signify ice. All right, guys, there is our tiny Christmas village. Next thing to do is I have to glue all of this stuff down. But before I do that, it's time to tell you what the plan is and why I made the houses hollow. You've seen the thumbnail, you know already. I left them hollow because I'm going to string lights into each house, which is why I gave them windows, so that they will glow. 
because it's a snowy Christmas Eve night. So when I, before I glue the houses down, I've got to cut out a little hole underneath each house. Glue those down. Then we have to take this stuff right here, Mod Podge, and liberally apply it to everything. And I mean everything because it has to be watertight. Because I'm gonna take this acrylic sheet, make a box around this whole thing, and we're gonna encase this entire little village in a block, a cube of resin. And I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm very, very, very nervous because, uh, yeah. When you introduce resin, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. So I'm a little afraid of things going wrong. I have a vacuum chamber, but I'm kind of hoping that the little bubbles kind of look like snow. I don't know, we will find out. are cut. So now we can start gluing everything down. I think to do that, the best way to do that is going to be hot glue because it will get a good seal. I can basically use this as caulk and then uh, paint the hot glue so that it looks like snow. are in but I'm not gonna show you yet not for like suspense or anything I don't have any double A's so I physically can't show you at the moment all right we have one more thing to do and that is create a box so I have some sheets of acrylic right here and it should work well because of the way plastic is it pops off of resin very willingly usually I'm gonna jinx myself by saying that so if we make a box we can pour the resin and then once it's cured we can basically just like pop all the sides off and we're good to go the box is made it is hot glued to seal it, all of those edges. I believe it is airtight, hopefully. We will find out, I guess. So all that's left to do now is pour, and I am very nervous. I'm excited, but also very, very nervous. Resin can be very touchy. So, that being said, take a good look, because this might be the last time this looks good. <laughs> Well guys, dis disaster struck. My seal wasn't very good, apparently. So I'm coming back in and resealing the crap out of it. Uh, remember what I said earlier about um, resin being really touchy? Look at how pretty that is now. Mm. It's definitely sealed up, or it should be anyways. We're gonna find out. Freaking hope so. Well, um, hmm? our box now looks hideous because we had to fix the issue of leakage. We're professional. This is what professionalism looks like. Well, I guess, uh, from here, I'm gonna go home and take a bubble bath because I think that's what people do when they're stressed, right? Right, Alexis? That's what I do. Okay, that's fair. All right, well, uh, I guess I'll be back tomorrow and um, see how we're doing. And hopefully there's, it's not just like on fire when I come in tomorrow. Hey, Christmas. Hey, Christmas. The resin is cured, which means now we get to do the fun part of uh, deboxing it. I am hesitant. All right, we got it out but there's an issue. It cured weird, see that? Because there was a leak, all of the corners are droopy, which we can fix that. We'll have to do something different, but I think we can fix that no problem. Also have to fix this down here. And as if there wasn't enough issues, my wire broke, which is fine. We could probably just solder it back into shape. But yeah, uh, let's do the thing with the stuff.
It's done. Shark Cat. guys well it is finished and I am so freaking happy with it <laughs> when the box failed and it started leaking I thought all was lost when I took it out of the box and it was still tacky and the slopes are all droopy I thought all was lost but oh my gosh this thing looks so so good I love it I am so beyond happy with this that is one of the rare times where it actually came out like exactly how I pictured it. And I love the way the light through the windows glows on the snow. It looks so good. I'm so happy. I think this project right here is a prime example of why when things do not go the way you want it to, just don't give up. There is a workaround. It may not be what you originally thought, but there's always a way to fix any situation. Unless, of course, it like catches fire or something. But regardless, I am very, very happy with it. It came out way better than I thought it was going to, and I love it. It just makes me smile. All right, guys. Well, I think that is going to do it for this one. I am so freaking happy with this thing. I know I've said that like a billion times, but it looks so good. I was not expecting it to come out this nicely after uh, having multiple issues with it. I'm really happy we were able to salvage it. It's not perfect, but it's lovely and I love it. I definitely want to work with resin more moving forward just because I love working with it um, and not be rushed and, you know, give it actually as much time as it needs, like extra time so that it can cure before, you know, use it properly is really what I'm saying. But without saying anything, um, we will be using a tool very, very soon in the shop permanently, which I'm so excited about that will be using resin very regularly. So be excited about that. I will tell you more soon-ish. But yeah, let me know what you think of the Christmas village down in the comments. I'll have links to stuff and whatnot up in the description. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Look at it.